Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear, and for today's video, we're going to be talking once again about buttstock ammunition carriers, in this case, buttstock shell holders for shotguns. Um, I mentioned in just about every video I've done where I've talked about buttstock ammunition carriers that, uh, particularly with grab and go guns like patrol rifles, patrol shotguns, home defense weapons, there's any number of circumstances and situations you could find yourself in where you're only going to have enough time to grab that long gun and go, and you're going to have to solve your problem with whatever's in or on the gun. Um, and in this case, we're talking about uh, setups for the shotgun. And for shotguns, there's a number of different ammunition. Uh, devices that you can attach to the weapon. One good one is going to be a receiver mounted side saddle unit that holds six rounds. That's always a great idea. And we also offer our buttstock shell holders that hold an additional six rounds for conventional link stocks and five rounds for reduced link to pull stocks like the Hogue stock. Uh, but what this allows you to do is support that theory of shoot one, load one, or load what you shoot. What that means in terms of shotguns is if you fire a round, you can immediately top that magazine tube off again with an additional round, or if you fire two, you load two. But in doing so, you keep that gun close to full capacity at all times, and you'd be surprised how long you can get through a course of fire or a gunfight by doing that and staying in the fight with the gun and never running it dry. So what I want to show is uh, I'm going to pop a couple rounds off and I'm going to show you basically how to execute a reload from the buttstock shell holder and then give you an idea of what we're talking about, about the shoot one or shoot two, load one or load two. So we'll go ahead and chamber one up and I'll, sh I'll pop a couple off and I'll show you basically how it's done. So, so we fire two rounds off. All we do is reach across, load one in, Load two in, and we're back up to full capacity again. Fire another two off, and we load another two in. And we're still all the way back up to full capacity on the magazine. So that's basically how it's carried out, and you can alternate back and forth. Another thing that you would probably want to think about doing is at a lull or a point in the gunfight where you can, I keep a, a pouch on my belt where I can basically top off the uh, ammunition carriers that I have on the guns. Obviously you'd want to do this at a time where you're in a safe position and behind cover, but you can just load that right back up. So you're not only consistently loading the gun, but you're also loading the devices that are attached to the gun. So I'm back to full capacity in the tube, full capacity on the buttstock shell holder, and that's how it's done. So with that, I'll bring you to a close. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.